Alrighty guys, so today I have a package here. You guys can see it's a fairly big package. Um, so if any of you guys have been following me on Twitter or whatever, you probably knew this was coming. Um, but let's go ahead and open it up here and see what it is. So, see if I can slice this open here. So what I have here is the Volantex Ranger 1600 model. Um, this should be the uh, almost ready to fly or whatever. It should have all the electronics and stuff in, but we'll see here. Um, so let's go ahead here. Looks like the box got some damage. Um, get it up here. So looks like the box there got damaged on the top. Looks like it might have been crushed a little bit. But let's see here. Let's open up and see if everything's good on the inside. All right. So let's see here how we get this out. Looks like we actually do have some tape here on the bottom. Alrighty. So, on the top here, we have some uh, directions and looks like a manual here. Um, so we'll go over that then. We have some big decals here. We have the two wings. I'm not going to take them out of the bubble wrap. Um, but we have two wings, and it, well, you know, let's, let's take it out and take a look at one. Alright, so it looks like it's okay. It looks like there might be some marks there, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, looks like they have nice joints there. We have a servo here, which does not have a servo horn on it, so we'll have to add that and a few other things here, but yeah, looks, looks to be okay. We got the horizontal stabilizer here. Let's see if we can get this out. Got a nice um, carbon fiber uh, rods there to help support it. Yep, yeah, that looks all fine. Alrighty, so here, this is the part I was curious about. So here's the actual main body and frame. It is a plastic uh, material. So really, really sturdy. It looks like we have a 1400 kV motor here. Um, I may upgrade that eventually, but we'll see here. We got the hatch up here, which should just pop off. I'll have to figure out how to get that off then. Do you have a spot down here for FPV? And, uh, yeah, so it looks, I mean, that there is a really strong plastic, and it's fairly, fairly heavy, so... Can't, can't go wrong there. We have the vertical stabilizer here, which I won't take out. Um, then in here, it looks like we have the uh, metal bar here that the wing slides into the wings. And we got a propeller and some screws and servo arms and a little screwdriver. And then we have more, looks like more decals here. Alright, so that's a quick look at what comes with 
this. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and show you guys what I have um, and what I plan to be working on here. Alrighty. So as you can see in here, they do have a, a servo extension leads here. You have the cable that goes back to the ESC. And they give you a nice power cable there with the XT60 connector on it. They also give you Velcro straps to hold everything in with, with the battery and stuff. They give you some double-sided, uh, sorry, Velcro here that has the tape on the back that you can put the um, controller on. Um, as I said before, you got the 2400 kV motor here. And so yeah, it should, should be pretty good. They got the servos back here already mounted for you and the wires ran up. So it looks like it's a fairly nice, nice build there. All right, so what I'll do is I'll put this together and uh, show you guys what it's like when it's all together. Alrighty, so I got it all put together after about uh, three and a half hours of working on it. And um, pretty much all the electronics were already mounted inside. Um, I put my receiver right here with some Velcro and then I put large amount of Velcro down there on the bottom, which will then also go with my batteries here that I'm starting to put Velcro on just you know to help hold them along with battery straps so we got that and then uh, with my receiver here I have one um, antenna going down and the other one comes up like that and uh, yeah let me let me you know spread them out a little bit there so we get better signal so pretty much all I have to do yet is just um, finish getting my uh, transmitter ready and um, then take it out for a flight so uh, once I get to that part I will um, take a video of the first time flying it and we'll see if I fly it or crash it alrighty so we're gonna go out here and try to fly it there is a slight breeze but this is gonna be about the best I can get so we'll go out here in the field a little bit and uh, yeah, let's see here if we can get this to fly. Oh, well, it's only a couple hundred bucks. That didn't go too good. All right, let's try this again. good alrighty so I just crashed it and it held up fairly good I didn't break anything off um, as you can see here it power drove it into the ground and filled this all up with dirt and stuff and overall it's pretty good um, the reason the wings are off here is because it did bend the metal bar here and the wings wouldn't go back in so I just have to try to bend that back and then just snap the wings back in um, I did, I'm going to check the battery here, but I guess Velcro is not quite the way to go on some of these. It, um, as you can see here, it, it tore the outside casing off and pushed everything clear to the front. And so I'm just going to check to make sure this battery is still okay then. So I'll have to fix that here quick. Let me see here if I can get it fixed up and fly it again. All right, so I'm gonna to try to bend this back here so it's straight and not at a little bit of an angle there. So I think I can just put it here and try to bend it. Sorry if you guys can't see. 
um, but let's try it here. Man, that rod is stiff. So I just put a good amount of weight on that and it's barely straightened out yet. Um, let's try something here. That won't work. I need to get it somewhere where I can actually get a good, some good leverage on it. All right, let me see if I can get it straight. But you can see how strong that is and how much of an impact that would take to bend that. And uh, the plane is still pretty much in one piece here. So let's see here if we can get this fixed. Alrighty guys, so back here at the house, I couldn't get the plane uh, ready to fly yet. So I did get the thing bent a little bit more, but it's not quite enough to let these connect in. So I have to straighten that out a little bit. Um, the other reason is, um, as I was doing it there, I noticed the whole ESC had came out. Um, so it disconnected the cables and everything from the motor. So, and there's dirt and stuff down in there. So I want to completely tear this all down. Um, take take the body part apart and just make sure that everything back there with the cabling and stuff's all okay um and i want to fasten that esc a little bit better but while we're here we can take a look at what's there um so it looks like it has a volantex easy plug uh, 30 amp brushless esc there um, and it does say it's rated for 4s um but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and tear this all apart and just make sure it's good. But so I'm just gonna say my final thoughts here of it. I know I didn't get a very good flight time out of it, guys. Um, that crash had nothing to do with the airplane. That was just my really bad flying. Um, that's the whole reason I got this airplane is to learn how to fly airplanes a little bit better. Um, I don't know why I pushed forward on the stick instead of pulling back. And um, well, as you can see, I drove her straight into the ground. And I'm impressed with how well it stood up. I mean, there's nothing wrong on the wings themselves. Um, the body itself isn't even crinkled or cut or bent, you know, anything like that I can see. And, you know, it held up very well. I am surprised that that aluminum, I'm guessing it's an aluminum bar in there bent because I was putting my whole weight on it trying to bend it back. I had a board down here I was trying to bend it back with and it would not bend. I finally got a little bit, but I'll have to put it in the vice grips and, and just straighten it out again um so there was a lot of uh force there to bend that and and you know it this nothing broke here um you guys seen how the battery was i mean it tore that battery right out even with the velcro there you know right out of the housing um you know the, to to pull this whole esc forward and, and pull the wires out i mean yes they're just barrel plugs and they just slide in but still that's still quite amount of force and then for the body of the airplane that should be fairly good so i am happy with how well this with you know with stands a crash and stuff um so if you guys are looking for a sturdy solid plane i would say this is it i know some other people have said that but i've tested it out as you can see and it, it held up great um a little bit of work here and be right back to going uh, flying again so if you know of any other airplanes that are you know complete foam or whatever i mean you would have been cutting it off back here just completely smashing or whatever and that just that just drove it into the ground and didn't even hurt it just have to clean all the dirt out so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video uh sorry i couldn't get a better flight time out of it and stuff uh, hopefully i'll be able to make a video on this again here in a few weeks when i get it all fixed up and ready to fly um I don't know if the other issue was there was a little bit of a breeze today and it was bouncing around a little bit and I didn't know quite how to handle that uh, being that I've never well I've flown an airplane once before so uh yeah well if you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up and um if you want to see more videos like this or see this airplane when I get it flying again here in a few weeks just uh you know go ahead and hit the subscribe button there so then you can uh see my new videos i have some videos coming out in rc cars and stuff too so keep an eye out for them all right guys thanks for watching